Optimus Prime's windows need a clean, and I'm going to use a lemon, which is a naturally effective cleaner. Cleaning her tank will help reduce the risk of illness and keep her healthy. Green anacondas, like Optimus, live in swamps, streams and rivers in some regions of South America, and their species name, Inectus, comes from the ancient Greek word for good swimmer. Weighing in at 93 kilograms, Optimus measures over 5 meters. That's nearly three tilers stood on top of each other. To make sure I'm safe, keepers James and Ashley will keep a close eye on Optimus at all times. Happy? Ah, oh, happy. It's nice and cool in here. OK, Optimus, I'm about to start. I'm going to try and involve you as little as possible. So if you can stay put, then it makes my life a lot easier. For now, at least, Optimus seems happy to watch me from the side. But when she does get into the water, she can move fast. Anacondas can swim up to 10 miles per hour. That's nearly double the speed of an Olympic swimming champion. She has this big water body because she loves the water. She's a great swimmer. But they're much faster in the water when they're large than they are actually on land. They'll lay on the riverbank and wait for their prey to come up to the rivers to actually have a drink. And then that's when they'll strike out to then get their food. I'm not sure whether Optimus has a close eye on me or my window cleaning abilities. You actually missed the spot right at the top right corner there, Tyler. I did. <laughs> I think I've tackled my task with real zest. And now Optimus's tank is lemony fresh. Whew. I'm pretty relieved the job is now done. She's been very good, so I think it's about time I go out of the pool. I don't want to push my luck. Once Optimus is on her own again, she'll be able to slide back into the water and enjoy a nice long swim, just like her relatives in the wild. She has nostrils on the top of her head, so she can peep just above the water surface and breathe while hiding her giant body below. But there are some swimmers who don't even need to come up for breath. 